why. I didn't see it come in. Come here, take a seat. If you're fortunate enough to not know it, my name is Davin Caratow, and it seems like I'm running to be your Class of 2020 valedictorian. And why not, right? I got all sorts of great qualifications to be valedictorian. I'm a graduating student of Bishop Redding. I'll admit it, I may not be the smartest, the funniest, the most athletic or popular student. I may not be able to write the best or the cleverest speech, one that you'll quote to yourself as you fall asleep in 15 years, or one fit for the halftime scene of a 90s sports movie. But I can promise you this, I can write you a speech that's good. No, better than good, good enough. And doesn't it all come down to that? What is the high school endeavor except doing the bare minimum to pass? I tell you, it's the American dream. But jokes aside, which is a sentence I would never expect myself to say, our high school career is coming to an end. The peaks and troughs at our time here at BR are flatlining. Our race is run. And it's been great and terrible in our time at Bishop Reading, but now it's over. And standing here at the end, I can see that we are all different. We've all changed. I know I have, you know? In grade nine, I was a short, scrawny, fedora-wearing kid with few friends, no confidence, little ability to do well, anything, and almost zero ambition to join any clubs or student council. But look at me now. I'm four inches taller. But it's true. I've seen it. I've watched you all grow and change and mature, and not in a creepy way like I was watching from the bushes or anything. I'd like to be valedictorian to get a chance to reflect on who we've been, what we've done, what we're doing, and where one day we might end up. One random fateful day in mid-March of 2020, we all left Bishop Reading for the last time as grade 12s, leaving one chapter of our lives and sailing blindly into the new. For instance, this is the last time I'm going to stand in front of my grade and beg for your votes. But the valedictorian is meant to finalize that transition, to usher this graduating class into maturity, as Mr. De Silva was so fond of saying, and that's why it's important to choose wisely. The class of 2020 is already one of the most successful and accomplished graduating classes this school has seen in all its history. And it's no exaggeration to say this is the greatest set of graduates that BR has seen in months. So I think they deserve an equally great valedictorian. Though seeing as we can't find one, you may as well choose me. I've been Davin Caratow and I think next Tuesday, June the 2nd, you should vote me to be your valedictorian.